I'd like to introduce someone who's very important to the conversation on global climate change, who's with us today, uh, and that's Carolyn Lewis. She is the director of the Clio Institute here in Miami, and I'd like to invite her to talk a little bit about what this date means to the discussion. Well, thank you so much, JC, and thank you, Xavier, for having us here. To me, this is extremely symbolic, and people need symbols and stories around which they can rally to find their voice on the issue of global climate change. And so the Clio Institute has taken on environmental literacy and civic engagement, and right out the door, global climate change became of utmost importance because it's everybody's problem. It's every one of the seven billion of us. It's our job to find our voice about what climate change is all about and to determine what our role is. And so when I have opportunities like this to understand this South Pole longitudinal installation, to be a part of a ceremony that honors the human contribution and how if we look at how the longitudinal points of a pole meet, there is commonality. There is something in the planet that pulls us, binds us all together. And as we approach global climate change, we need to understand what's happening in one area affects another. There are no boundaries to climate change. And so as human beings, we are boundaryless. We are humans without borders. And our need to address climate change in very real ways becomes critically important, and as best I can facilitate access points to individuals, and the Clio Institute can have hundreds of thousands of us owning that question, what is climate change all about, and what's my role? It becomes so much more important to have stories like this that we could rally around and find the commonality of humankind and our voice in all of this. So it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> 